Hi, this is Tom from Never Center. I'm going to show you some of the different ways to preview effects in Camera Bag 2. The uh, easiest way that you probably notice um, right off is just by hovering over anything in this right panel. So right now I'm in the Favorites tab, so every favorite filter that I hover over I'll see the little preview of that effect up in the upper right hand corner. This, uh, this method is particularly good for when you want to compare different effects with whatever you're, you've got in your main image. So if I want to compare everything with the original, then um, I'll just leave the original in the main window and hover over these. And if I choose some effect, um, anyway, this, this helps me to sort of compare everything against a single effect. The next way is the quick looks, which at the top of every tab there's this quick look button. And that let me see, lets me see all the effects side by side. Um, which is handy if I'm just wanting to sort of choose an effect and I don't have anything specific I want to compare it to. Note that each of these quick looks in each of the tabs has a keyboard shortcut. So if I press C, then that will pop up the uh, quick looks for the core styles. If I push up A, if I push A, that'll pop up the quick looks for the adjustments. Um, B will do the same for borders, and F will do that for favorites. Uh, so just an easy way to pull up each of these quick looks. And of course there's the quick looks tab which has all of those buttons right there together. The final way to browse through filters, uh, I'm going to hit F to go into the quick looks for the favorites, is uh, once I've, I've clicked on a favorite or a style filter or something, I can press the up and down arrows and that will just cycle through um, all the favorites and the styles. So right now I'm pressing down so that's going through each of these next favorite filters. So like, um, for example, if I click on this one called Burst, you can see the next one down is Cheers and then Cinema and Color Cross Alternate. So if I press the down arrow, it will go through those. And I can press up to go back. And so that's a nice way to see the, uh, to preview each of the effects on your full size image. So we have all these three methods in just because different ones are good in different situations. Um, and we think all of them are useful, so uh, give them a try, especially learning those keyboard shortcuts. It makes things a lot quicker. Thanks.